hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a graduation jotter so before any further ado that get started here i'm going to use a4 paper size then change it to inches then resolution 300 and you great now i'm going to image then go to the canvas i mean rotation then you rotate it this way now select your guideline this is 50 percent then now again enter 45 percent then go back to your guideline again then enter five percent then you continue again 55 percent now make it 95 percent then now here i'm going to make it horizontal then five percent at the top and another five percent at the bottom so this is what we have now then i'm going to do this one manually okay then the next thing is to create a rectangle then draw it from this area then you drag it down to this position then i'm going to use this color over here draw an ellipse to a cycle reduce the size Now, then, this is what to do. The line is too small. Remove the fake color. I'm going back yeah to read to increase the number to four all right then i'm going to duplicate it reduce it this way go back to your property then change it to this one duplicate it again then decrease it okay now i'm going to duplicate it again then no turn this one off then come back and duplicate it again 
then I'll turn this one off so now I'm going to use this one for my test select your test tool then place it over here now type congratulations all right then increase the font okay then bring your mouse to this position you will see a sign there then drag it go back again then drag it then come back again select that sign then you drag it this way all right then duplicate it then I'm going to use this one for the second test then select the shape I mean the rectangle then you type graduation Then you turn it around like this. There is a point there. So that point is what you use to change it to the location you want. okay then you turn this one off you can delete it or you leave it now i'm going to test type on then duplicate the test I'm going to type on this one that is on your graduation then drag it over here and you bring this one over here that is congratulations on your graduation then drag this one down all right now what i'm going to do is to use select um, this gradient fill here and I'm going to apply a gradient fill color here so this is the color I'm going to use I'll come to the middle here and make it a little whiter like this is okay 
then come back to this side double click and drag it down i'm selling, going to select a color like this take it up a bit okay then i'll come over here again then to apply the same color like that okay so now i'm going to do the same thing on the other line again which is this one go back then do the same thing right so now i'm going to apply a layer style already i have the color here so it's already here so now that i have it here so you can make you can make any color of your own choice but i prefer this one in this tutorial then i'm going to select this one drag it up then hold your alt key and drag this layer style then now i apply the layers the test effects to the all the test here Then I'm going to use this image which I got from the internet. Do the picture is not that quality, so you can download it from Google. then bring this image i'm going to use this image for this tutorial just for the tutorial then you can get any image of your choice from the internet
then rasterize it hold your shift plus ctrl plus u to desaturate then you decrease the opacity Position it to your own desire. Now apply this color over there. Rotate it over here, 90 degree. Then I reduce the distance, this size and the spread. Increase the opacity. Bring the distance to zero. Then increase this one a bit again. And these are the code I use. Okay. So you can see the shadow. Then select this one. Then apply this color. And go back to your layer style. Hold your alt key and drag in. So that is another way to copy their style. Nice congratulation. Change the font. To railway. Then I'm going to rotate it. And rotate it horizontal. Then change it vertical. Increase the size. Drag it up. Then I'm going to use this color here. Then go to your layer style. Then adjust. okay like this okay so this is what i have over there now i'm going to type again the name of the student So I'm using this name just for a tutorial reason. Then 
change this one to another name then I'm going to change the fonts to slope then increase the font size reduce it small I think it's okay like this then reduce this one then I'm going to drag this one up Then drag it down like this, increase it. Then I'm going to create a design over here. change the color then drag it down behind the image project to duplicate it then I'm going to reduce it then bring it down like this then change the color to something like this group it together now I'm going to group them all right I'm going to duplicate this background then I'm moving it to the other side this is the back page then I'm going to duplicate this image drag it up move it over here If you have more than one picture, you can use the French picture. Then I'm grouping this one. So this one now is the front page. Then I'm dragging this one. I duplicate it. Then I'm dragging it to the other side. Move it up. Reduce the size. I will position it over there. You can position your own at your own desire place you want.
I'm going to create another design here. Make it four. Then remove the color. Duplicate it again, then you reduce it. Now this one, remove the outline color, then apply fill color. Then drag the image up and reduce the size. Place it inside. Duplicate it again, then you power clip this one. I that is creating a clipping mask. I'm going to duplicate this one, then I'll drag it up here. Then I'm going to create a clipping mask again. Now I'm going to move this one, which I duplicate, then to this side. So like I said before, if you have more picture, then you can use more than one picture. Then what I did is to rasterize it, hold your control plus shift key and plus and U. So now I change it this way. So I'm going to apply a curve shape over there. Not that much. It's okay like this. Then I'm going to apply it this on this one again. Then you group it. So, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate.